1690 AM station from iHeartRadio. Try it out for yourself. America is listening to WVON. The views expressed on our programs are not necessarily those of WVON, Midway Broadcasting Corporation, or our participating sponsors. The following is paid programming. The views are not necessarily those of this station. We are the talk of Chicago. 1690 WVON. All right, brothers and sisters, we are back on WVON 1690. This is the Talk of Chicago, a serious radio show made for the time and what must be done. And we are here every Tuesday night from 9 until midnight, three hours of powerful content. Black, strong, unapologetically pro Gone. Our fearless leader, Brother Nabi Richard Muhammad, is the creator of this show. Brother James G. Muhammad, contributing editor of the Final Call newspaper, is always here. I'm Brother BJ. We thank you for being here. Go to our website and you can, um, you know, replay a lot of the content, especially that first hour. You can hear that back tomorrow morning when you wake up, if you missed it, on uh, uh, straightwords.com. Straightwords.com is our website, on-demand content just for you, and also information on how you can donate to our program and keep us on the air every week. We thank you for your donations every week, brothers and sisters. So let's get into this hour, Brother Nabar, Brother James G, because we've got some powerful guests on the line, brothers. Brother Nabar, are you there? Okay, well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Oh. Okay, I'm brother. Here. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to bring our guest in, uh, Brother Abdul Aziz Muhammad, a student assistant, spring captain of the Nation of Islam. And is it Brother Calvin that we have with him? Yes, sir. It sounded like it. Yeah. I wanted to say... Yeah, so Brother Abdul Aziz Muhammad and Brother Calvin, we're going to bring you in. I'm going to take about two, no more than three minutes, because we want to make sure we hear from you, because what you're going to share, I think, is in line with this conversation. And yes. it's, it's very much um, something that people need to know about and something that I would say they need to support. I'm going to say this, look, brothers and sisters, I don't like cutting people off, and I'm all for dialogue. But see, when you get to talking about the ministry, and you get to inter- introducing stuff that he didn't say, or making assumptions about things that he never even intimated, in particular, when you start this thing about money. Let me say something to you about money. Did you know, brothers and sisters in Chicago, that the Chicago Police Department has a $2 billion, with a B, dollar budget? You ever ask them where that money going? Because that's your money, right? You pay taxes, mm-hmm. right? That's your money going to them. And it basically increases pretty much every year. And the problems still don't get solved. So here you got a man that said, since you can't do anything with our young people, turn them over to us. I hope that you got a clear understanding of what that means. Ain't got a damn thing to do with money or contract. He didn't say contract with us. He didn't say pay us. See, you cheapen him, man. And that's offensive to me because the sterling character of this man and the life that he has lived. Don't you know that when this man started rebuilding the nation of Islam, he was offered huge amounts of money by people in the East not to rebuild the work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They promised him major money and promised him that they would make sure that he was honored after his death. How many of you could stand up to that? Somebody dangling millions in your face. It's a special man. So I'm not going to sit by and let any kind of misunderstanding or, 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 or misspeaking be directed at him. It's okay if you direct it at me. But no, you will not direct it at him. 
You want to know what the man said or you want to raise a point? Raise the point on what the man actually said. That's my point. Right. And with that, Brother Aziz and Brother Abdul mm-hmm. Aziz Muhammad, Assistant Supreme Captain of the Nation of Islam, and Brother Calvin Muhammad, welcome to Straight Words with Nabi Richard Muhammad. That's me. DJ Murphy, that's the golden voice that you hear. Hall of Fame radio broadcaster and James G. Muhammad, contributing editor to The Final Call and a former editor-in-chief who traveled the world with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and his strong Muslim working in his car. So, my brothers, are you there? We want to bring you in. Brother Z's, Brother Calvin, you hear me? Yes, sir, we're here. I can hear you now. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum, Brother uh, Z's. Wa alaikum salam, sir. Uh, it's I such a it. pleasure, such a pleasure to be here uh, on the show with you. Oh, brother. You know, Brother Aziz, I got to say this because I've been thinking about it all day. You are really a brother who is beloved in the nation of Islam in particular That's and right. outside of the nation. That's because right. Because of the character and the type of man that you are, you know? And, and you know, when, when, when I thought about having this opportunity to have you on, and if there's other things we can do to, to support the International Training Conference, brothers and sisters, which will be July 26th through July 28th, Eight. right? Yeah. Um, you can, you, for more information, you can, you can call 773-769-7017. If you've never been, you need to go. If you've been, you already know you need to come back. So, Brother Z's, how are you? And the floor is yours, sir. Man, thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, all, all of my beautiful brothers, uh, the three of you are so um, beloved to me, uh, mm. absolutely. And I appreciate and I appreciate your your stand that you all are doing that it does it's not an easy job to handle this on a consistent basis just mm. like as, as was mentioned it's not an easy job to work with our people mm. and I'm I'm thankful to you to be uh one of the ministers or uh, three of the ministers uh soldiers who uh, doesn't take a back seat but takes a front mm. seat on this show thank you for mm-hmm. being that that type of uh, those that type of brother uh, for me so, uh, and for us. Yes, sir. So praise, now, Brother Z's, we have this incredible event, and we, we may get into some other stuff, but I, I don't want to detract from talking about this major event, the International Training Conference, which is in its 29th year. So, Brother Z's, you, if you could talk about that, and Brother Calvin... You can jump in whenever you feel like it, or Brother Z, you can invite Brother Calvin in as you two tag team this situation. Yeah. Yes, well well, um this this event and first of all let me just introduce Brother Calvin. Brother Calvin is is uh a, a tremendous brother and friend and and aid to me uh as it relates to this event. He is someone who has been uh, helping me and been a part of the national training uh, since he was <laughs> a young man. I don't know if it was the teens or not, but uh, he may have been mm. just over the teens. <laughs> and uh, he was a part. He is now uh, the captain in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, mm. Uh, mm. and and he's been he's been doing a lot of things. He's He's such an aid and a helper, and he he definitely is going to be able to to get on and and he's our stat man. I mean he he has the stats and uh, he will you know share some of the things that we have we have done as well as some of what we're about to do. Uh, Brother Calvin, you wanna you wanna start it off? 
Oh, yes, sir. I, I'd be honored uh, to do so, uh, dear brother and sister Supreme. And, and first, let me, uh, of course, uh, say how honored I am to be in the presence of, of, of you three uh, hosting this incredible show. Uh, man, I, you know, straight words is awesome, but I appreciate the work as, as a soldier, the work that is done with the Final Call newspaper. Uh, that 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 get, that that is our ammunition as we go into the street, mm-hmm. and so I, I am indebted, and I, uh, I you you forever have my honor for your hard work and sacrifice. I had to say that. Thank you for the opportunity. And, uh, thank you, and, brother. Thank you. And 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 you know, as Brother Abdul Aziz Muhammad, our student assistant supreme captain, has said, uh, I believe my first national training I was uh, 18 years old. Uh, mm. And I had an opportunity to uh, uh, train in, in Chicago uh, when we had the first one. And just to give you a little background, uh, at that time, it started off as an officer's training um, mm. where it, 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 it was really a handful of people compared to what we have now. I think we were over at the Pioneer Building uh, in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. we, we did some stuff outside. Yeah. Uh, and, and we have a picture of all of the officers that were present. It was a little bit under 21 officers. Then we had some additional uh, martial arts. But uh, over the years, uh, now we're, we're on our 29th year, uh, you know, one of the most uh, misunderstood parts of the National Training Conference is we're going to, you know, it's just martial artists in their training, and, you know, we're, we're throwing people around for three days. And what people don't realize that most of the training is off the mat. Uh, the, mm-hmm. as the, the conception of the National Training Conference started off to give us structure, to give us certain protocols, to give us direction, to help make the entire mosque together as officers, to, to make sure that we were treating people properly, to make sure that we were doing security from a standpoint of saviors uh, and, and not, not, not being aggressive to our people so we were given the best of the best tactics uh, to do. Mm-hmm. And so this year, on our 29th year, uh, as the uh, national training is taking place, uh, you know, one of the things that the student assistant supreme captain has done, uh, and then you said it best, Brother Naba, he, he, he is a brother who is not trying to lift himself up, but he is sourced from within the nation of Islam, some of the best of the best. I mean, we have trained pilots uh, that give better protocols on flying and staying safe and secure. Uh, you have former, you have law enforcement officers that come in not just to teach us proper tactics, but to teach us good relationships with the law enforcement. Uh, you have people. We did you know that we have people in the Nation of Islam that are trained on 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 uh, rescue and recover uh, right. in, in the water, and so he has sourced subject matter experts to come in and teach and train so that we can become the best and best. If we're building a nation, then, of course, we have to have the best of the best. And this year we're going to have people who are teaching on agriculture. We're going to have people who are, who are teaching on the spiritual development. We have a whole youth side of the conference now teaching on anti-bullying. So he's dealing with every age range by a lost permission from our, our 8 to 16 year olds from the 16 all the way up to the 21 year old and then all of us the sisters have their own separate breakouts i can't say enough about this national training event that's coming up it's something that you absolutely have to experience mm-hmm. beautiful wow excellent can, can oh, you brother all brother calvin uh, yes no, sir brother, no, i was just gonna ask can they just tell us the that was the what, but where, when, uh, so at least uh, from the outset, they'll kind of get an idea of what, what day. You already said it was the 26th through the 28th, but where, uh, you know, is it going to be held, that, that basic information? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. This year, July 26th through the 28th, is going to be held. I, now, I, yeah, I mentioned before we started off, we were at the Pioneer Building and in a, in a room, but now we're at the Tenley Park Convention Center uh, in, uh, right outside of Chicago, the 26th through the 28th. And what we're going to do, uh, we have a website, www.thevskjujitsu.com. That, again, is www.thevskjujitsu.com. And that's where people can register. You need to register in order to be a part of the the uh, National Training Conference, but we're going to be at the Tenley Park Convention Center, July 26th through the 28th. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, and, and brothers and sisters, 
um, if you go to Brother Aziz's Facebook page, right? Look for Anthony Muhammad. There's a beautiful picture of him with the minister and somebody else. You can get it right on Facebook. Um, we will, we will, with your permission, Brother uh, Assistant Supreme Captain, we'll take this flyer. We'll put it on our website for the for the conference. But we've already distributed it um, as the flyer for his appearance tonight. You know, Brother uh, Brother Aziz, one of the things that I appreciate, because I think a lot of times people, when they see a thing at a certain level of development, they just assume that it's always been that way or they can take it for granted. But they don't know that there was some work that was done to bring it to the point where it is, and there's serious work being done to evolve it and and keep it going. Talk a little bit about where this idea came to you for a national training conference and what has kept it going now for 29 years. That's amazing. Wow. Yes, sir. Well, uh, the idea came from the instruction uh, that the Minister Louis Farrakhan gave. Well, actually, he um, made me the uh, national trainer. Well, you know, well, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> the national trainer. Uh, I, of course, I had uh, a particular skill level as it relates to uh, training in the art of uh, self-defense, and uh, I was under a tremendous uh, uh, practitioner, martial artist, trainer, and the minister called him a god of the martial arts, and that is uh, Dr. Moses mm-hmm. Powell, uh, mm-hmm. also known as Musa Muhammad. Mm-hmm. And and um, when I was given that uh, position of responsibility, I, you know, had to begin to do something. You know, immediately I moved to Chicago in uh, 1995, and uh, that was in May of 95. And then, you know, we had the Million Man March. <laughs> mm. and, and and from the Million Man March, you know, I, I had to begin to do something in the area in which I was given this uh, responsibility. Uh, and and, and that, that was one of the things. Now, I had been doing, uh, even in New York, giving seminars and bringing in my instructors and and whatnot, but now I I had to do something more than just martial arts. I had to do something that would combine some of the other aspects of my learning uh, and, and, and training, and that was in our <laughs> in in our life of, of the nation of Islam. Uh, insecurity and not just basic security, but but the the ways of protecting a house of worship uh, and and delivering to those in that house, the men and women, uh, defensive tactics as it relates to how to do that. So it was it was that that was the inspiration, and then now I wanted to do something and just continue to do something that would show my appreciation to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan because if he chose to give me a a position of responsibility for me to do nothing and just just live in in uh live in this day and time and not show that I I appreciate it, uh then I think that, you know, it would be very uh uh, detrimental. So I did start, and I started by putting out, doing a video on proper post procedure, uh, which was earlier on, and that's something that started going out to the leadership uh, captains and whatnot in our nation, and we moved from that to then having this this event. And as Brother Calvin uh, stated, that, you know, we had about 20, 20 brothers that came in. Now, uh, they came in to get that training, but I combined the martial arts and it so 
they had to do martial arts while they were also studying this the the security uh, training. So it merged. We merged it and made it a, a one uh, made it one thing. And uh, from that, you know, twenty people. You know, we are you know in in the hundreds of of people uh, in, at our event, and it is like a mini Savior's Day. And in fact. Every time we have the event now, the brothers and sisters, when they come together, they're saying Happy Savior's Day, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> Good. It, it has that kind of, of spirit. Uh, we have vendors. We, I mean, we just, we enjoy it. Yeah. And, and I'm dedicated, and I have a team, you know, and I have to say this, that it's not me. Like mm. Calvin on the line, uh, he is an intricate part in our team uh, that is putting this on, that does it every year we get together, and these brothers and sisters, uh, over 30, about 32, 33, uh, are participating in the development of this where their mind is totally involved in it, and they share, and it's, it's it's broken up into various areas, so so I get a chance to be a face, but mm-hmm. they are truly the spirit behind all of it. So I'm I'm just mm-hmm. so thankful to them and thankful to Allah for blessing me with people that uh, that I have with me that makes me look like I'm really good. I'm I'm really not. Yes, you are. No, you you're you're very good. good. Listen, listen, brother, you good and humble I and know. So gracious and so kind. My God, brother. You know, uh, brother brother, uh Aziz, you know, um when you talk about the position that you hold, I look at where you as Supreme Captain, you as the assistant this level of black manhood of the, being a trainer of men of the nation of Islam, training us to be soldiers, training us to not run from death, but run to death, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has said on many occasions. And I, I, I wish that the church community in the city of Chicago would come to this training and see yeah. what we have to offer, and we yeah. join forces. Yeah. And you teach the brothers and sisters how to be soldiers in the street, righteous soldiers who represent the kingdom of God, trained by men who represent God's man in our midst today. Brother, wouldn't that be a, a beautiful vision if that yes, would happen, sir. Brother Captain? No, absolutely. In, in fact, you know, a part of what we're doing is... It's also driven by the minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, where he has directed me and us to go and teach the churches how to defend themselves. See, because now we're seeing so many incidents now, and we know that our churches, our people are not safe with the mind that they have in uh, they have brought into this day and time where this is a very, very dangerous time. Uh, you see uh, 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 pastors on on the uh, podium and someone just comes in with a gun, walks right into the center and mm. and points. And only because it didn't fire is because God kept it from happening. But look at what was able to happen. And then you have so many other situations that we have we have seen mm. we cannot continue and the church cannot continue to act as though there is no need to protect themselves because there is an enemy whether they want to believe it or not there's an enemy that wants them uh harmed and and uh, we have to make sure that we protect ourselves and the minister has again given the instructions for us to do so, and that is one of the things that we are doing and I am doing. Uh, We do have um, a few churches that are utilizing that Mm -hmm. service, and and, uh, I'm thankful to them 
for giving us the opportunity to share some of this knowledge that we have. I mean, if you look at us, if you look at our history, the history of the nation of Islam, <laughs> know that we have not lost one. Mm. Mm. When, when, when you look at the CIA and whatnot, they can't say that. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. So, uh, and, and we don't use weapons. We're right. not carrying weapons. Right. And we we have traveled with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan all around the world. But I got to say, and I, I've said it to the minister, there's no safer place than being around him. Because That's right. No God, God <laughs> That's has absolute. him up. <laughs> so, That's absolute, bro. It's really That's the safest true. place to be. You know, That's any right. plane, you got the minister on it, That's you know, right. we good. That's right. I always, that. <laughs> I always <thought> that. <laughs> but I do have to say too that you know um, the minister is so beautiful and and I love him so much and I yeah. I have to uh, uh, thank him for just caring the way mm. he cares, man. I mean, he, he yeah. cares. You know, his his love it surpasses any love that I have ever seen. Mm-hmm. You know, the way he loves, you know, mm-hmm. and and along with that, I got to say that his son, who is the yes. Supreme Captain mm-hmm. of the Nation of Islam, Brother Mustafa mm-hmm. Farrakhan, yeah. is the kind of brother that is, you, you know, he is from his father. Exactly. Right. Because he shows that same kind of love. And he has been one who has been like my greatest uh, inspiration outside of the minister. The Supreme Captain, Brother Mustafa Farrakhan, has kept me feeling secure and keeping me on this path and this road mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. it's not easy either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
perfect our ability to provide streaming content as well. Mm. Wow, that's mm. brother, that's that's incredible. Mm. Talk about the schedule, uh yeah. uh brother. Tell us what's yeah. gonna be happening now and give us the date and the place, then tell us what's gonna be happening. Yes, sir. So I, I'll give you the the layout along with uh, the time frame. And so typically, we kick off the national training on that Friday. Uh, we we start early, uh, anywhere between eight and nine a.m. We start the national training uh, with an opening session, prayer opening session, and we have some powerful, powerful presenters uh, because for the the entire day of Friday, going all the way up into the evening until about five p.m. We're going to be in a workshop uh, type setting. And so we're going to have main workshops, we're going to have youth workshops, and we're going to have breakouts for the officers. And so that's when you'll get a chance to come in. I believe Student Minister Nuri Muhammad is also doing a workshop. We have Brother Ilya Rashad that's going to be doing a workshop on uh, defending Farrakhan. We have our agricultural workshops taking place as well uh, by, I believe, Brother Randy, uh, who's going to be doing some skill training. We have people who we have an actual team that has been consistent uh, with teaching. You mentioned the churches, and you mentioned what's happening. Well, uh, we have a, a, a solid team that teaches on how to respond during an active shooter. So these are some of the things that we will have wow. taking place on Friday, going all throughout, uh, all through from the morning all the way out into the evening. And we have some additional uh, training as well, some very specialized training that we'll be getting into. We haven't even gotten into the youth. Uh, subject. The youth are trained on finances. The youth are trained on interpersonal relationship. They're trained on how to deal with bullying. They're trained on how to deal responsibly with technology. All of these will be taking place uh, on Friday from about 8 to 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And then 6 o'clock p.m. we open the, the physical training, the physical kickoff uh, of the martial arts portion of the of the national training. And that's going to go from uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And so that's happening on Friday. Then on Saturday, we really get an early start on on Saturday. We have trainings that are and workshops that are taking place as early as 5 a.m. We have some sisters-only classes that will be taking place. Uh, we have some check procedure certifications, some different post certification. We have some specialized vehicle training that will be taking place, uh, dignitary protection that will be taking place. From Friday morning, we'll go until about noon to 1 o'clock, and then we'll kick off our martial arts schedule as well. But it doesn't end after the martial arts training. usually goes from about noon to about 4. And then we have one of the highlights and the celebrations of the national training because we just don't work hard but we play hard as well. So we are going to have one of the most eloquent banquets that you could possibly mm. have and reward, a reward ceremony, award ceremony that's taking place as well that everybody usually comes and culminates. And then on Sunday, we have the best of the best fighters coming in really from all over the country and different parts of the world. We have our scimitar open where we'll have fighters competing. We'll have people competing in kata, weapons training, in all of the different martial arts skills. So that will be taking place on uh, Sunday as well. Wow, yes, that's, that's incredible. Let, 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 let me get one. Hold, hold it. But BJ, don't yes, lose your point. I just yes, want sir. to repeat some things. You do, you, we're talking to Brother Calvin, who you just heard from, and we're talking to Brother Abdul Aziz Muhammad, assistant, Supreme Captain of the Nation of Islam. They're bringing us news and information about the upcoming International Training Conference 2024, which is in its 29th year. So that says something. This marvelous event will be Friday, July 26th through Sunday, July 28th. It will be held at the Tenley Park Convention Center in Tenley Park, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. Look, here's what you do. Call right now for information, 773-769-7017, 773-769-7017. International Training Conference, Friday, July 26th through Sunday, July 28th. 
Go ahead, yeah, Brother right. DJ. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, I was glad uh, Brother Captain uh, Calvin said uh, about the sisters because I would love to see, like, groups of, of sisters come out and be trained on how to defend themselves. Can y'all kind of make an appeal to uh, women who are kind of uneasy about how to defend themselves if they, if they catch themselves in an elevator or or something, you know, where they're kind of isolated? Could y'all talk to that, brother? Yeah, and can somebody mute your phone? We're getting background noise, and so when you're not talking, mute your phone. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Brother DJ and Brother Calvin. Or were you or was that for Brother Beats? Well, he was presenting it uh, for us. Um, well, yes, we have a strong, you know, we have a strong contingency of sisters who are dedicated and desire to learn how to defend themselves. And it's it's so beautiful. Uh, you, you, we We have... We could have nearly 200 sisters in this uh, at the event, and uh, they're getting great information uh, and 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 we're, and training. So that's our objective. And we are. I, I want you to all know too that this is not just for the Muslims. It is open for you to come and join on and join in so you can get some of this training as well. We're looking forward to our community participating in this training uh, in, in, or in any aspect of, of what it is that we're doing. So, uh, yes, we, we're, we're definitely uh, focused, as Brother uh, Captain Calvin also stated, that it's not just men. It started in the very beginning. It started with men, and we did we did it maybe three years before we uh, opened it up to the sisters. Because how are we going to have an event that is training the men and leave the women untrained uh, mm. and open, you know, without giving them some training in in some of these areas as well? So. Uh, we opened that up. So the women, I mean, we, we have women-only portions. We have co-ed portion. We have uh, the children covered, as Brother uh, Calvin mentioned. We have, if you're bringing your child and it is just needed for child care, where they are, you know, toddler age and whatnot, we have child care so that the whole family can come out. We have uh, an uh, we have children from the age of eight to twelve years old. They have their own uh, seminar, if you will, where they're going to be given specific training, and uh, they're going to have their own event. Then we have the next group of of our young people, where from thirteen on up. Uh, you know, 13 into their early 20s, they're going to have a full seminar. I'm talking from the beginning to the end uh, of this of this event that is focused on them. They're with us in the very beginning, but then after uh, uh, our prayer service, then they go into their own um, conference, if you will. And so we have that with, with the children, and then we have, of course, the uh, adult. And I don't want to say that, you know, only the adult, because some of the youth, they are adult. They are 19 and 20 and 21. They support. They have started when they were younger, but now they're older, but they still help uh, the, 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 the uh, young, young ones. But uh, so they're helping the young ones, yet they are a part of uh, the adult group. And then we have the adults, and they have their own uh, training. We have specialized training in that that are for specialized groups focused on their training. So it's an all-around training that 
you, you, whether you're in a specialized group or not, you're going to get a full spectrum of training in it. So it's, 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 we just try to make sure that we can uh, demonstrate to the minister uh, and to our people that we care about them and we provide them with the type of training that lets them know that we care. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, brother, uh, brother, Supreme, Assistant Supreme, uh, yes, you sir. you just mentioned the minister. I know that he has mentioned that he loves coming to the uh, event, and he has been there on. Uh, I guess you have mentioned just about every one, if not every one. I don't know if uh, that's something you can mention if he will be uh, with us. But I did want you to talk just a little bit more about this uh, the Supreme Captain because. You were you were talking about him, and I want to uh, agree, brother. That's one of the most. He's a kind brother, but he, he he's right from his father. I love his teaching, and he's got side splitting humor, brother. So you hang with him a lot, <laughs> and oh man, he he'll crack you up. But then when he gets to to preaching, you can see his father all up in him. So if you just say a few more uh, words about. You working with him for so many years and uh, traveling internationally. I know I've traveled yeah. with you, brother, and I've noticed how you have operated. And you've always been gracious to me, even though I'm on the team and and was the, and the editor of the paper. It was always a security issue, even if you're on the team. You know, primarily the, the minister's safety is utmost. So whoever's approaching, you know, it's all about security. So if you could just talk a little bit maybe about, you know, your associations with Brother Captain Mustafa uh, on international travels and your experience internationally. Man, it's it's uh, it's really a blessing. Uh, he, the Supreme has, he's the reason for my travel. Uh, and, and really for many, he is the one who set. Uh, who comes and uh, who would not. And so every time that I was present, I was present because the Supreme Captain, Brother Mustafa Farrakhan, said uh, he he invited me uh, and put my name in the group so that I could come. So I'm, you know, tremendously grateful uh, to him for that. Uh, but in it, you know, his he's he doesn't do it for the sake of friendship. He does it because he wants what is best for the group, best for the minister, best to make sure that things go the way they should go and are secured, you know, so uh I'm I'm dedicated to give my life uh mm. for his safety and you know how could I not be that way when he has dedicated his life before I even had one Uh, you know so I'm I'm just thankful to him for that and being that kind of brother I'm I'm a (laughs) I came into the nation as a youngster you know uh, a child uh, in the nation and uh, graduate, you know, into Muhammad University, graduated from Muhammad University of Islam, uh, you know, and and in in that I was under the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, so he was always, always the object uh, for me. I mean, he he of course always left it presented the Honorable, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad as as the object, but he was the one, the physical one in my presence that made me to understand who the most honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, uh, was at that time and is. So, you know, I, I can't talk enough about him. Uh, and, and so in, in our traveling around the world, I've gotten an opportunity to see the minister in in positions and handling the kind of business as you know uh brother james the the kind of business where he has 
been confronted with so so much, and then you see how he does not and has not ever deviated or let me just say it like this, he has not ever shied away from the teachings right. and 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 identifying the honorable the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as his teacher and where what he has comes from. And uh, you know, so I, I've been amazed at right. at him in how he has what we have been given the lessons, but he has made the lessons so real and yeah. and proved to me that there is nothing greater than what we have been given. So uh, yes, sir. I don't know. That's, I'll just I'll just yes, sir. Here for a moment. Yes, sir. So, so brother now Bob, we got uh, Sister Lois on the line. Oh yeah. Let's let's bring Sister Lois right on in. Brothers, we're gonna take a few calls from the callers, okay? Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, Sister Lois, go right ahead. You're on WBON. Well, good good evening to all and, and God is so good. I'm just enjoying the entire program. One of the gentlemen made a statement that we should go to another doctor and get another opinion. And I just wanted to add that it's almost impossible to do that because once you go to the doctor, everything, your diagnosis and prognosis is it's all listed on the computer uh, according to your social security number. So it's hard for another doctor because they're all under an oath. They're not going to go against one another. So I believe that unless we leave the state and go to another state to be evaluated, there's no way today that we can get a second honest opinion. And that's my right. opinion. And this is Lowe's in Chicago. All right, sister, All right, so thank you very much. Appreciate you. Anybody else okay. in the call? We got Brother Anthony Shahid on the line. That's All Malik right, Gun. bring my man in. Malik Salam. been thinking about oh, you. Well, I'm thinking about you. Shahid. And love you at the same time. And just, just tapped in. I hear Brother James. I hear everybody in the background. But I heard my grandmaster. I've been on for about five minutes. I snapped straight to attention. I said, hell. <laughs> And you don't want that smoke. <laughs> you don't want that smoke, brother Anthony. No, nah, you don't want no that kind of smoke. No, no, no. That's 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 a volcano, a lava smoke. That's that's real smoke. That's a a, a tsunami <laughs> smoke. But I want to say the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. I've been with no God but Allah, and Muhammad is His messenger. And I'm just so thankful to be able to tune in to a newspaper, to a radio station to our nations of radio and communication was we could talk about, you know, who the I'm Elijah Muhammad is. I only heard maybe three or five minutes of what uh, the grandmaster was saying, but I came in uh, when I was eight years old and I'm seven years old now. And all I know is I'm Elijah Muhammad changed our lives because the power of the word, you know, there's a whole lot of them out there talking, but they didn't have a power of the word to change and clean up our people. They was talking, they had knowledge, but they didn't have knowledge to, find them in one state, and as the messengers say, don't leave them in that state. Where you find them, make sure when you leave them, he's in a different state, clean them up, and that was our job to resurrect the And I think about when I heard him teach him, uh, or just one thing, just the being power. He taught us how to eat the liver, but just, just that being power on the beans. Nobody, you had to let people taste the power because you couldn't tell them it was a being power because they would trip like a being power. They wouldn't want to taste it, but as soon as they tasted it, man, they were talking about, man, what kind of pie is this? And you can tell me it's a bean pot. A bean pot. But he took something that everybody else didn't even think was possible when he said we could live off that bean and took it to another level. Everything the messenger taught us, he cleaned us up, and he gave us the knowledge of ourselves. And Islam was the answer, but he made sure that when we got through talking to Islam and everything from the Quran and all the articles he would put in the Muhammad Speak newspaper, he told us to go out there and get our people. That's how you could prove that this word was real. So I don't want to keep on trying to hold special grandmaster there and come back there. I want to just sit back there and grandmaster can open up with that Al Fatiha and say that Al Fatiha is Arabic better than any Sunni Muslim. So I just want to give a greeting to Brother Nava when you get a chance for what you call me, Brother James. You know, I love it. I love all of you. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks a lot. So, brothers, we're almost at the top of the hour. Um, brother. Abdul Aziz Muhammad is the Assistant Supreme Captain of the Nation of Islam. 
We got student captain Calvin Muhammad. He is a student captain in Kansas City, Missouri. Any um, words you brothers want to kind of um, encourage people to come out? Any parting words you'd like to give out tonight? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I, I would like to just say that, you know, one, we, we didn't get a chance to talk much about what you were talking about earlier in the show. Mm. And, and and it's something that, uh, as Brother Anaba mentioned, you know, no one has proven any doing it any better, you know, uh, and then what what we have as a nation uh, going after our people. I, I would say that that anyone that says that, you know, where are we? You know, we're here, but can we do more? Absolutely. Will we do more? Absolutely. Uh, but there is no one else that's doing any thing close to what we have been taught by the most mm. honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable Minister Lewis. So I, I just want to say that we are definitely um, uh, moving to do more because we're being driven by the minister mm. to be better, to right. do better. And, 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 and we have to change. We have to deliver the message of right. this change so that we will not have their blood on our hands. Mm. So Go ahead, man. I just want to thank you uh, for uh, on sharing what we're about to do. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody uh, in Tenley Park on the 26th. Uh, you know, I, I'll say this. My birth anniversary is that first day. And mm. I'll be 66. Wow. On, 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 on the 26th. Wow. Mm. You sure don't look like that. I tell you that. Yeah. Praise be mm. to well. <laughs> Yes, sir. Brother Calvin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and I, I got to say, uh, he, he hits like a 20 a, a year old. So. Uh, don't don't let right. that. Yeah. Don't, don't let him hit you, man. Don't, don't let him touch you, boy. <laughs> but 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 I echo everything, and and in the same sentiment, I, I, you know, I just I want I want to share this. Um, you know, I, I've had the privilege and honor of being trained in the FOI since I was 13, and uh, mm. being trained with the student assistant supreme captain uh, from the ages of 18 and up, along with other captains. And uh, the national training, and, and I'm, I'm sharing this because, you know, a lot of what we do, uh, a lot of the good that we do is not necessarily measured because people don't really talk about good things. And <clears throat> just last week, we, the FOI, we were out in the field uh, with, the, with the Final Call newspaper on Monday night. <clears throat> and while we, uh, while we were out, uh, right next to us, two people got shot while we mm. were out. Wow. Now, because of the training that we received, you know, we were able to go into response mode. Uh, there's an EMT here in the city of Kansas City that says 70 percent of the homicides that happen in our city happen because people don't know basic medical protocol. Uh, so people bleed out before the first responders are even have an opportunity to. But because of the training that we had, we, we, we went right into applying tourniquets. We went right into make compressing the wound and the shooters were still present. So not only were we mm. doing these things, we were de-escalating it because there were at least six to eight shooters at the time. Now I bring wow. that up because the training that we apply is all of the training that we get at the national train, all of the training oh, yeah. that we've been receiving. And so uh, uh, th those are the things that probably happen all over the nation. And these are the things that won't necessarily make the news, but they will allow a, a son to go home to their mother or father that night. And that's, that's the real work. That's the real call of action that we're in. So this training that we're going to get for the national training is indeed life-saving training. I want to encourage everybody to come. Go ahead. Beautiful, brother. So give out that website again, brother, so everybody can register for the program July 26th and 28th in Chicago. Yes, sir. And it's www. Uh, the VSK Jiu-Jitsu, that's J-I-U, 
J I T S U dot com. W dot the V S K Jiu dot com. And call this number, brothers and sisters, for more information. Seven seven three seven six nine seven zero one seven. That is seven seven three seven six nine seven zero one seven. May Allah bless you with success. We'll talk to you again real soon. You're listening to W V O N sixteen ninety straight words on the talk of Chicago. The talk of Chicago and the voice of the nation is 1690 WVON, Berwyn, Chicago.